Ryan Foreman is the head of innovation and business development at Roeschling North America. And great to get a chance here to get an update of what's happening at Roeschling. And let's start with active aerodynamics, because Roeschling's doing a lot in that regard. And why don't you fill in the blanks from there? Sure, sure. Yeah, Roeschling's been engaged in active aerodynamics since 2002, when the first active grill shutter launched. Since then, we've continued to evolve and innovate that product, in addition to expanding into additional active aerodynamic products. And uh, describe a little bit uh, about how that active aero works. Yeah, so, for example, an active grill shutter is present in the front of the vehicle. You get the most benefit when it's positioned as far forward as possible. But it'll be closed when you initially start your vehicle to reduce your engine warm-up time. And then once the engine's at peak operating temperature, the shutter can open. Or if you're driving at speeds 35 miles an hour and above, the shutter will stay closed to increase your aerodynamic benefit of the vehicle. And I got to believe that you're looking at more than just the shutters themselves and a whole front end module that incorporates that. There's a lot of benefits when you can combine multiple systems that traditionally were independent into a combined homologous product. And so we're looking at combining a lot of structural solutions with our plastic and the idea of the active grill shutter to reduce mass and reduce also the investment of the organizations that are looking to implement these products. I got to believe OEMs like that too. Just take one module, put it on the front end, it's all in there. Exactly. You simplify your design time, your investment costs, as well as your assembly when it comes to the assembly plant. Ryan, there's so much effort in electrification these days. What kind of role can a company like Rochling play in that regard? Tapping into our plastics expertise, we're focusing a lot into metal-to-plastic substitution. There's a lot of ground that's been gained in the last few years with composites. You could look at carbon fiber, advancements in nylons, glass-filled materials. There's a lot of opportunities there where you can combine the design aspects that we can provide and simulate with the performance of a plastic lightweighting part. Yeah, and lightweighting has got to turn into longer range for these electric vehicles. It'll benefit your electric vehicle, it'll benefit your hybrid vehicle, and it'll also just improve your fuel mileage of your standard internal combustion vehicle. Okay, electrification is one big effort in the industry now. So is autonomous vehicles. Does Rochling have a role to play there? Yeah, we're definitely in the autonomous space and being aware of what's going on there. And with autonomous vehicles, there's an increased use of sensors. So one thing that we've developed is a product we call the Active Cleaning System. And what this does is this is taking into account your sensors are going to get built up with dust, mud, grind, snow, all these types of conditions that will exist whether you're driving in the Midwest or in Florida. But the idea is that these sensors perform at their optimal conditions when they're clean. So our system will be able to receive a signal and clean the sensors to make sure that there's no safety risk related to the vehicle and any pedestrians that could be detected. So this is sort of like a a windshield washer, sprayer thing for all the sensors. Exactly. And our system will be able to recognize which sensor specifically needs to be washed. So you're not necessarily washing the entire windshield per se. You will wash one specific sensor that's receiving a, a command that says, this is dirty, I should be cleaned. And so how do you do that? It's like one big windshield washer container under the hood to to be able to clean all these different sensors? You basically grow a little bit your, your washer tank to accommodate the increased use of all the sensors and the additional fluid. But by having the smart system and the integrated electronics is where you're not being wasteful of the fluid that's in there. So you're only spraying exactly which sensor is dirty, not just spraying all the sensors. Exactly. You, you apply the, the fluid and the solution to whatever sensor needs it only when needed. You know, I, I love what you're talking about here because, you know, when we talk about autonomous technology, we hear LIDAR and sensor suites and sensor fusion and all the software and the processing. But you've got something so simple here of just keeping the sensors clean. It, it's something that is definitely agreed upon that is needed. It's just a matter of how it's integrated and how to use it. Yeah, real good. Well, Ryan Foreman, thanks so much for giving us this quick snapshot of the different technologies that Rochling's involved with. No problem. 